What's up guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to fix network lag, a high latency and packet loss while playing Black Desert Online on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, open up Black Desert Online. Here, before selecting a server to play on, you have the option to set one or more main servers. These should be servers which you get the best connection to. But in case you are experiencing network lag and a high latency on each server, then make sure to close the game for now. Make sure to account for any VPN service which could be running on your system, or turn off your VPN when in game. Before making any tweaks on your system, I'd recommend to verify the Black Desert Online and Steam server status. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. On this page you can preview concurrent online players to see if there is a recent drop in users. The next site shows you current reports for server outages and you can preview where these reports are coming from using the live outage map. Lastly, on the official Black Desert Online website, you can preview planned server maintenance. In case you feel like the servers in your area are the cause for your network related issues, then you can simply change the server region by using launch options. Make sure that Black Desert Online is not running in the background and open up your Steam library. Right click Black Desert Online and navigate to the game's properties. On this window, in the general tab, you can add launch options. These commands will apply every time you launch the game. Use the launch option Region Selection True. You can copy it from the description below. When you next launch Black Desert Online, you will be prompted to choose a server region, which can help in reducing server related lag. In case the servers in your area seem unaffected, then the issue might be related to your own network connection, to software running on your system or to the game files. You should also test your own network connection. I prefer to use speedtest.net. Make sure that you have a stable up and download speed and that your ping is not exceeding 100 milliseconds. In case it's higher than 100 milliseconds, then you'll have to make a few changes to your network connection. Use an ethernet cable if you can. Restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. You can then close this window and open up your task manager by right clicking your taskbar and selecting it. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open the processes with network activity and after a few seconds you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Use the command ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Next, use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address in case the issue is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box, enter control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet, network and sharing center and here select your connection. This will open up this window containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to properties and lastly, double click the internet protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS server addresses option and as your preferred DNS server use 8888 and as your alternate DNS server use 8844. This will for a lot of users fix the issue when playing on a server as these are the official public DNS server addresses from Google which are safe to use. 
Lastly, in case you still have network related issues, then you most likely have software running on your system which is hindering you from playing the game. To fix this, I suggest ending processes from running in your task manager of recently installed programs which can change your files or use up your available resources such as OBS, Shadowplay, CCleaner or Adobe applications to troubleshoot which program is causing the issue. You should also verify your connection to your ISP and make sure that you're using a decent data plan. You can troubleshoot this step by switching your connection to your personal hotspot for example. If you have issues loading maps or downloading other content, then you should delete your temporary files. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. All of these files are saved by your programs and should be deleted once in a while. Make sure to delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.